Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Read IO. Last time, a lot of stuff happened. Uh, Hinata had a lot of guilt over his sister, uh, whom is not sure if she is dead or not. Uh, there's a good chance she is, but in this kind of story, who knows? So, um, let's continue. I'm alone. I've ended up completely completely alone. It's true that Dad was almost never home, but even so, I could still feel his presence. Now even that is gone. The only thing I could call something like family here is... the lone cactus sitting on the desk. It doesn't make any noticeable movements, but even so, it's desperately hanging on to life. It's the newest member of my family. It, it arrived on March 17th of this year. Why? Because it was a gift. Sakuya said that out of the blue and gave it to me. I don't find things bothersome. She may have a point. Plants aren't bothersome, animals aren't bothersome, only humans possess self-consciousness like that. Huh? Full of your feelings. What kind of feelings did you fill this cactus with? Come to think of it, don't plants react to music? Hmm. How ridiculous. That's just a superstition. The instant I try to cast aside those thoughts, another person's voice runs through my mind. Oi, oi, Hinata. Meishinという言葉に騙されて真実を切り捨ててちゃ立派な科学者にはなれないぞ。大体君は物理は得意じゃなかったのか? I should test it out. Maybe the cactus will react differently if I put on some music. I gaze at the CDs lined up on my bookshelf, with genres ranging from classical to techno-punk. What genre would be, would be good? I have no basis for this sort of thing. For now, I took a now out of print thrash metal CD. The CD cover shows the Virgin Mary as she holds Jesus in her arms and mourns his death while demons surround her, waiting to prey on her. The dark forces are trying to devour a blessed family. Who is it? It's 7.24 p.m. It's too early to say at a time like this, but they're awfully late for a visitor. If it were Sakuya, she would just stand outside the door and call my name. <laughs> if that's the case, then it's probably not a nice visitor. I don't feel like seeing anyone right now. Fortunately, the lights are out, so maybe they'll give up and go home. <coughs> if they're a salesman or a Jehovah's Witness, they're sure impatient. So who who is it? Various fictional possibilities appear in my mind and are almost instantly dismissed. I can't come to a conclusion. <laughs> That voice sounds strangely familiar. Just who is it? Tucker. In order to stop this neighborhood nuisance from making any more noise, I place the CD by the cactus and decide to open the door. Ah, the person I see is a familiar one. My brain flashes back to the events of the past few days. I frantically take out my commuter pass holder and take out the card I'd picked up. Uh, uh, 
I check the back of the card and look at the signature. Shinozuka Mayumi. There's no doubt about it. No, hold on. A few seconds ago, she said I bumped into her yesterday, right? That's definitely true, but since we bumped into each other today as well, wouldn't she bring that up first? The girl who said she's not Shinazuka Mayumi says this. Something strange. It's like that feeling you get when you fasten a button in a wrong spot. That's because right after that, Sakuya pulled my ears and ranted to me, then I collapsed on the roof and talked to Yayoi Sensei, so I completely forgot about it. I have no clue how she thinks that's obvious. じゃあさ、本人でないとすれば、そもそも返してっていうのはおかしい話じゃないか。それは確かに僕はこのカードを拾って今まで忘れてたけど、あの時すぐに返そうと思って追いかけたんだ。だけどどこ行ったか見つから
is normally the result of induced ovulation, meaning they're fertilized from different eggs. Even when identical twins are in completely isolated situations, they have been seen to do the same things, a phenomenon known as synchronicity. Though it's rare, it's also been with fraternal twins. There is yet to be an explanation for this phenomenon. Synchronicity, a meaningful coincidence, a phenomenon where two similar events not bound by any apparent causal relationship occur together in a seemingly meaningful manner, often described with words like apprehension, premonition, a dream come true, telepathy, or a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Psychologist Carl Jung subscribed to the idea that these uh, were not simple coincidences, but events created by the world through communication of the human unconscious. Jung thus coined the psychological term collective unconscious. Ghost comes from the same root word as guest, spirit. A virtual image projected as radio waves, an image or a picture. An independently operated program that occasionally appears on the net. Even when a shadow disappears or is deleted, its data still remains on the servers and may be activated via an outside force. According to rumors, when a user loses their body and even when their shadow also disappears, the information the user left behind is personified into a spirit of its own and starts to move like one. That's a lot all at once. <laughs> no, in the first place, is seeing someone else's doppelganger a good omen or a bad one? Yumiが、双子? <laughs> I feel like I could burst into tears. When I think about it, it's obvious. The two of them have the exact same DNA. The only answer for that is that they're either clones or twins. When I look closely, I see the color of their ribbons. It's different. I see. Twins are exactly the same, but the, at the same time, they do ma minor things and act on impulses to show off their individual personalities. The girl with yellow ribbons seems to be trying to remember something. The girl with pink ribbons points directly at the nameplate on my house. なるほど。さすがお姉ちゃん。僕は青い日向。これ、すぐに返せなくてごめん。でもこのカードにはハッキングとかそういう変なことは何もしてないから。As I say that, I hand the card back to its owner. あったり前でしょ。そんなことしたら、あんたなんか2秒でサイバーフォースに捕まって脳みそ現れちゃうんだからね。Cyberforce, the nickname of the National Police Agency's Biocomputer Division's Quick Response Special Duty Corps. They are organized under cybernetic laws. They cooperate with the Public Morals Division, Homicide Department, and Forensics Team due to the recent rash of mysterious cases they've been investigating, particularly network-related murders and suicides. Cybernetics Laws, popular name for a series of laws passed through the national diet by conservatives to prevent humans and machines from overlapping too much or fusing together. Some of these laws are Act banning unauthorized computer and electronic access, Act for the Regula Regulation on Biocomputer Surgery, Cybercrime Treaty, and so on. These laws ban computer cracking, organic biocomputers, and the implanting of cyborg parts that surpass unaltered human abilities. Violation of these laws can result in severe punishment. Biocomputer, biological computer. Uh, the theory proposed by biologists including John C. Lilly, postulating that man is essentially a biological computer, methods to ex externally program the brain have been devised. A microcomputer surgically implanted and wired to the human brain allowing for data input output between man and machine. 
Connection to external data networks is also possible through a wired or wireless link. Input data from the net can be sent directly to the optic nerve or auditory nerve. Output from the brain is tied directly to Broca's area, the area of the, the part of the brain in charge of speech production, allowing a patient with a biocomputer to send messages over the net with thought alone. The surgical operation for biocomputer implantation has a high degree of difficulty, but is by no means impossible. However, the procedure is not approved by the Japanese uh, MHLW, Ministry of Health, Labor and Wealth, necessitating the use of overseas doctors or back alley doctors who charge an enormous price. Since rejection, mental disorders or even death can occur after such an invasive procedure, drugs may be necessary for the relief of side effects. Cyborg. Artificial arms and legs have reached the point where they possess functionality mostly the same as their natural counterparts. But becoming a cyborg solely to gain superhuman ability, whether through mechanical parts or organic parts, is illegal. In order to become a superhuman cyborg, one must replace one's entire nervous system with artificial counterparts, resulting in an other unworldly appearance and a permanent reliance on immunosuppressants and other drugs. It also comes at great monetary cost to the host. These are just a few hurdles which must be crossed before a full body cyborgization, replacing everything but the brain with mechanical parts, becomes feasible. Golden Wake. Now that she mentions it, she's right. It's true that it would be inconvenient if she spent the break without the card, and furthermore, she'd probably be really anxious about it the whole time. When I think that, I give her an honest apology.僕の怠慢だったら許してほしい。そんな、こうして、きちんと帰ってきてくれたから、それでいいんです。あんたら、私を無視して話進めないでよね。ユミも、何も。しかし、何よ。君がユミで、君がマサミってことは。<笑> なんでいきなりユミだけユミになっているのよ。だって君たち二人ともユミって呼んでるでしょ。はい。ユミはユミでいいですよ。なんだか何もかもがみんな腹立たしいわね。あて、えっとあじゃあ今日ぶつかったの
but does she really think there'd be someone in an empty place like this? <laughs> it suddenly feels like something pierced me in the heart. I see them off while absent mindedly waving my hand. ちょっと見悪い人に見えない人が一番危ないの。ちょっと見悪い人に見えない人が一番危ないの。よく言うでしょ。普段から物静かな隣人がいきなり快楽殺人犯になったりとか。そうかな。そんなことないと思うけどな
And then there's no school for five days after that. I won't be able to see the person I want to see. That thought becomes a nearly unbearable pain. Does everyone do club activities to avoid this pain? But who could understand and sympathize with my worries? I advance down this endless cloister. I can't see an exit. But if this is a dream, I'll wake up from it eventually. This isn't a Sisyphean routine I'll have to continue for eternity. At least I hope it's not. I decide to keep walking until the scenery changes or I wake up from my dream. Before long, I finally come across unfamiliar scenery, but it's also somewhat familiar. This is a dream, so it's not unusual for me to feel deja vu. And yet, this is the first time a world inside one of my dreams has felt so tangible. As far as I can remember, that is, I advance in order to walk down this familiar path. There's that, uh, those curly braces again. So, yeah. I guess his identity is, uh, an important element of this. And then, I feel extraordinary sadness for some reason. Like I've just gone through a lot, all for nothing. I'm being tormented by the feeling that I couldn't do anything. This is strange. Is the dream compensating for reality? I walk as if some something's dragging at my legs. Each step is heavy, as if I'm walking through a swamp. Why is this dream forcing me to feel similar suffering? as if this is a metaphor for reality. Come to think of it, is it possible that since this is a lucid dream, my thoughts can control its contents? If that's the case, and the moment I think that, it feels like my consciousness is soaring, as if trying to get away from that place. Just before I do, I spot something. <laughs> Who was that? Even though all my recent nightmares were connected to Mutsuki, in this one I saw a man with no face. Does this man have some connection to my, uh, with my sister? I turn my head and gaze at the cactus. Did you give me that dream as revenge for me making you listen to that unbelievably loud heavy metal music? I can't help thinking ridiculous thoughts like this. I'm sure the cactus was thoroughly annoyed. Come to think of it, is this cactus a male or a female? Is it a hermaphrodite? Some plants have roots that can be distinguished as male or female, but a lot of them don't. Why is it that humans and a lot of other animals have genders? If they didn't, wouldn't the world be at ease? When talking to girls, you could interact with them without your heart pounding. You wouldn't have to groundlessly question things, like what happened last night. But if, that's, if that were the case, then what about love? Is the feeling known as loving someone generated from your DNA? Is it all a program for the sake of breeding? How many of my feelings and impulses are my own, and how many of them are manipulated by my genes? Does the concept known as me actually have substance? Genes. The chromosomes observable during cell division are cross-shaped nucleic acids wrapped around proteins. These nucleic acids are organized into four types of nucleobases, which are each paired with their complements to form a base pair. Three, ba three base pairs form a single codon. The information encoded within each codons is passed down from generation to gen generation, which is why the term gene was coined from the Greek genia, meaning generation, or genia, I mean. Most genes are comprised of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, which forms a double helix. But one variety of virus, retrovirus, uses ribonucleic acid, RNA, instead. DNA and RNA are both comprised of four nucleobases, but only three are common to both. In other words, DNA and RNA are comprised of five total nucleobases. The full set of genes required by a particular organism is called its genome. Each cell nucleus contains the organism's entire genome, including the non-coding portion called introns. Introns were thought to be junk DNA made obsolete through the process of the organism's evolution. The genome refers to the genes in the nucleus, but the energy-producing organelles known as mitochondria contain their own separate genes. 
This fact may imply that mitochondria were at one point separate symbiotic organisms that were later assimilated. Mitochondria are passed down solely from the mother. Likewise, the chloroplasts present in plants also contain their own genes separate from the plants. My phone's ringtone invades my brain. An invader I didn't call for. My head rejects it, and I feel a splitting headache coming on. Hi, Moshi Moshi. Ah, Oh, wait. Ah, wait, wait, wait. What? You're the human being that's the only thing you do? So, what do you mean? Why is it that these creatures known as women can be so incredibly sharp at times? これからそっち行くからさ。どうした？せっかくの休みなんだし、一緒にご飯でも食べようと思ってさ。最近は学校でも一緒に食べたりしてるじゃない。いちいちつっかかるな。でも少しは元気になった証拠かもね。さくやが
行こうって言ってるんでしょめちゃくちゃだよ病は気から君は考えすぎそうだどこか何にも考えなくていいとこがいいかな At this rate, am I going to end up as Sakuya's, at Sakuya's beck and call? で、結局こうなると。うんなんか言った別に。Sakuya was re relentless, asking over and over, where is that family restaurant you always go to alone? So we ended up having breakfast there. Sakuya was all smiles the whole time, downing cup after cup of tea. The whole time I sipped my coffee and coffee and thought about nothing particularly interesting, much like right now. こうやって二人でお出かけするとよく知ってる街もなんだか違った風に見えてくるよね。昨夜にはどう見えるんだ。そうね、街そのものがなんだかウキウキしてる。ほらほら、あの看板とか広告塔とか。ホログラム仕様になってるだけじゃないか。Hologram. While this originally meant whole recording, it now refers to a stereograph or three dimensional image made by projecting two beams of light from a single laser source onto an object at different angles. The object's location and state are recorded onto a film or other medium. This craft is called holography. This is commonly used in paper bills and credit cards as for a forgery deterrent. Also, see hologram chat. A more technologically advanced form of video chat allows individuals to converse through a network by projecting each other's three dimensional figures into each other's space. Normally, this process just involves scanning one's image in real time, but more sophisticatedly coded programs can map virtual textures on top of that projected image. Currently, this technology is limited to the affluent or hackers possessing advanced skills. The spread of hologram chat is said to be the downfall of needing to meet people face to face. In the near future, performing an act using one's real body may become a luxury. Video chat. A system using video cameras and microphones so two people can see and speak to each other over the net is essentially a video phone. In the early days of video chat, you could only display an image of yourself. Nowadays, by applying motion capture and CGI like the kind used in films, you could even appear as a character of your own choice. Whose movements will match up with yours. You can also automatically modify the background or edit the sound, which could protect you from giving the other party any unsuitable information. Scan. To gather any information related, relating to your target. In hacking and cracking, is the essential information gathering stage that occurs before an attack. Gathering information, OS, version number, etc. On a targeted server can end up revealing a hole in security. Attack. To strike. To invade a targeted server via the net and attempt to take control. In other words, usurp its root authority. There are two types of attack remote and local. Social engineering, while an indirect form of attack, may also be used to help the attacker. Targeting. The act of carefully selecting a target server when hacking and cracking and collecting information off of it. This is a necessary process before a scan and an attack. Remote control. A hacking and cracking method that refers to a remote attack. To attempt to directly control a targeted server from another server. Local attack. A method of hacking and cracking. First, one registers requiring an account,、uh, acquires an account. On the targeted server as a guest user, then attacks that server in an attempt to control it. May be used as a preliminary step to setting up a remote attack, but hacking on a local device can be useful in its own right, as it offers a wider variety of attack methods than of remote attack. Social engineering. When used to refer to the net, the term refers to using indirect, but still usually illegal, means to obtain information necessary to remotely control other computers. There are many methods available, such as tracing, shoulder surfing, including but not limited to literally peeking over someone's shoulder to steal their password, impersonating authority, such as a banker or system administrator, using fraudulent means of inquiring. Inquiring private information or rummaging through trash to find documents with usable information.
OS, abbreviation for operating system, software that controls a computer's basic operations. Most software uses the OS's execution to start up. Delicacy? Come to think of it, I heard someone say that recently. I wonder who I heard it from. Right, that girl. I heard it from Shinozuka Masumi. Well, I guess that settles that. あ、傷ついた。ごめんごめん。でも普段は確かにデリカシーないけど、ここだという時にはちゃんと決めてくれるもんね。そうなのかな。だって私今でもナナのこと大事にしてるもん。ナナ。That was the name of Sakuya's rabbit. And it was something that happened 10 years ago. She was crying all alone, as if she were a child who had lost her way. She walked with swollen eyes as red as a rabbit's. She looked lonely, sad, heartbroken. I couldn't leave her alone. At the time, I was brazenly juggling a soccer ball by myself while playing. By chance, the one I usually played with wasn't there that day. Wow, he has a very different voice. Well, as you should expect, of course. I dropped the ball and instinctively ran over to her. <laughs> Although she still had tears welling in her eyes, she looked at me curiously. It was the expression of someone very young, as if she were a baby. I hadn't seen her in a while, but I had memories of her often being led away by the hand of her scary-looking dad. I remember that whenever she and I played, Sakuya would always watch us enviously. Sakuya, Kawahara Sakuya, so na no? Eh, wasuretsotta no? At that time, Sakuya looked at me as if I were a complete stranger. It might have been one of the cases of amnesia you heard about all the time on TV shows. Boku da yo, aoi hinata. Aoi hinata ku. I could see Sakuya's small eyes swaying as if she were desperately searching the depths of her memories, but... <laughs> Not surprising, we weren't close. Sakuya's father was incredibly strict, so he wouldn't allow us to play together. I would invite her, and he would just grumble, but now... <laughs> That didn't calm down Sakuya at all. On the contrary, she just cried even harder. Even now, despite all this changed, I can still remember the heavy sadness I felt at that moment, like a weight pressing into my stomach. Her rabbit's her only friend? ずっと、前子だった気がするの。だから私、自分が誰だか、ここがどこだかわからなくなって。だから。大丈夫。ここは古町団地だし、ほら、昔そこの公園でよく遊んでたじゃないだから咲夜はここに来たんでしょあ、
どこへも置いてかないそんなことするもんか Those words erupted from my boyish sense of justice. I decided to give her a present to distract her from her many worries. Said present was. In my arms was a giant stuffed rabbit. While the size was normal for a stuffed bear, it was quite large for a rabbit, so it was expensive. At that time, I didn't realize what that clerk meant when she said boyfriend and girlfriend. At that time, I didn't have much time to think about it. It was all perfect. That stuffed animal had proved effective in the past for when girls were feeling troubled. I was broke after spending all of my hard earned allowance on it, but I didn't care. Deciding to put it to use right away, I took it out of the package, removed the tag and seal, and left a ribbon on. That's strange. Moon Bunny ended up solving her crying, I thought. Is there something I'm missing? Mm, mm. Being the kid that I was, I racked my brain over what to do. And then. なので、祈った。え祈ったは友達がどこへも行かないあそういうことだそういえばそんなこともあったっけかなもうどうしてそう忘れたふりなんかするの?Why <笑> she asks? Because it's incredibly embarrassing, isn't it? That was such a conceited thing for an elementary schooler like me to do. Back then, I barely even knew what I was doing, unlike now. I look away from Sakia. Now that I think about it, she said something like this at school too, didn't she? It was as if he had a grudge against me. だけど、さくやが、ひなたは私の友達なの。as far as I could see from those bento boxes, Saki has probably always cooked for her father as well. From that, I can feel a sense of intimacy between them that I can't comprehend. Things are different now. Sakuya and I aren't kids. I'm sure that the situation Sakuya is talking about would never happen, so I just give this response, even though I'm not sure if it's truthful or not. She looks really angry. ちゃんと分かってるんだからね。ひなたがムツキちゃんのこと乗り越えられてないってこと。もう 
ちゃんと前を見て歩けるようにならなきゃ。僕は何も。あの頃のひなたは太陽みたいに輝いてた。でも、むつきちゃんがいなくなってからずっと雲がかかってるみたいで。雨、咲くよ。高校に入ったらまた気分も変わるかなと思ってたけど、クラスに馴染もうとしないし。この世界の全てを拒絶してる。そんなのひなたじゃないよ。違うよ。これが本来の僕なんだ。そんなことない。そんなことないもん。お、おい。Even though we're in the middle of the road, Sakuya suddenly bursts into tears. ひなたは、本当は、もっと優しくて、よく気がついて、しっかり捨てて。わ、わかったから。泣き止んでくれよ、なあ、サクヤ。勇気があって、誰よりも心が強くて、ずっとずっと私のヒーローだったんだから。サクヤ。I instinctively start to reach out for Sakuya's shoulders as her whole body shakes。何をしてるかと思えば、こんなところで女を泣かすしか芸がないとはな。何？ I turn around. I turn around to see. あんたはディアボロスに乗ってた。誰 ？As she says this, Sakuya begins to wipe the area around her eyes. Fortunately, Sakuya doesn't wear makeup, but if she did, her face would be a complete mess right now. <laughs> よく覚えていたな。How in the hell can you expect me to ever forget an encounter like that? In the first place, where did he come from just now? I don't The instant he says that, I hear something loudly snap within me. Such an absurd rejection. He kind of reminds me of Sakuya's father. Right then. Sakuya's bitter plea pierces my conscience like a rose's thorn. If I could think to ignore it, I, I would. But that thorn is definitely stuck in me. ひなた、青いひなた、間違いないな。ひなたも突っかからないで、争いからは何も生まれないもの。残念ながらそれは違う。争いを超えて己の手を血に染めてからでなくては掴めないものもある。お前、一体何を言ってるんだ。青いひなた、今度その娘を泣かせたらこの間言ったように。刀のサビにしてくれる。おいこら。勝負するか。なら本気で来い。いつでも相手になってやるぞ。ちょっと待て。ひなた。Sakio grabs my sleeve before I can send my fists flying in the direction of my opponent. ふん。ねえ、今の誰なの？わからない。That's all I can say. Is it a new method of stalking? Either way, he's dangerous. Kakawari ai ni naranai hou ga ii yo. Ma, demo ai tsu ga katte ni. I stopped mid-sentence, my tongue feeling like it's stuck in my mouth. He talked as if he knew me. Even so, I know nothing about him. Has something been going on around me while I've been blissfully unaware? Even though I just want to live a peaceful life, even though I just want to get back a life with Mutsuki in it. Hinata, my childhood friend's eyes are beginning to gouge out my unconscious mind. Am I stuck in the middle of some maelstrom of incidents? If that's the case, then I absolutely can't get can't let Sakuya get involved. 大丈夫。大丈夫だから。I speak to Sakuya with words full of determination, so that Sakuya, being as extremely perceptive as she is, doesn't think that I'm deceiving her. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Sagio was opposed to splitting up until the very end, saying, I'm worried about you, so let's be together. But I walked her home, managed to calm her down, and went back home by myself. The plants in the living room seemed to be writing, or wilting. Do I have to take care of them in Dad's place? I already have my hands full as it is taking care of the cactus. Maybe I should give the decorative plants to Sakia. I think about this while watering the plants when something gently falls from the table. It's Dad's letter, the one that was left on the table, and the thing I've been doing everything I can to keep from entering my consciousness. I timidly extend my hand. It seems it wasn't sealed, as something slips out of the envelope. Of course, the white folded object is obviously the letter, but there's something else with it. Dad gave this to me. Those green pressed leaves lead my mind into confusion once, mo once more. A molecular biologist believes in the superstition that this is a good luck charm. I timidly try to read the contents of the letter. Dear Hinata, the object enclosed in this letter will become the final key to solving a certain mystery. It was grown in a place you and Mutsuki know well. If something happens to me, then I leave the family to you. I may not have done anything for you, but even so, you're a man. One day you'll probably understand what it is that I'm trying to do. In the last two years, I've used all means possible to investigate what happened to Mutsuki. The police never took the whole thing seriously saying that running away from home for a long period of time isn't much of a crime. I know I said grim things to persuade myself back then, but I believe my daughter is alive somewhere. You seem to think the same. After all said and done, the two of you are twins. You've noticed something I haven't, no? When I said that your mother's medical treatment was progressing, that was true. They're preparing to do surgery now for that purpose. Also, I have a few honest comments that may trouble you about Kawahara Sakuya-san, whom, whom you know very well. It would be extremely comforting if I could just simply say I can't get along with her, much like her father, but... The situation is more complex than you think. I've never distrusted her pleasant disposition, not one bit. I think she's a wonderful girl with a good personality. The problem lies elsewhere. You might think I've lost my mind when you read these following words, but I feel there's a somewhat unnatural part about her very existence itself. You've probably realized this too. So I just have one piece of advice about the things I just said. Awaken, Hinata. Accept everything. Your talents are analyzing and reasoning, so discover the truth. Mitsuhiko. Shamash. To -san. I can't move for a short while, even though every single word of the letter is entering my brain like photons forming a photograph, I can't understand their meaning. No, something is preventing me from understanding it. I try rereading it countless times. The important words flicker into my head one by one. Mutsuki, Mom, Sakuya, and didn't he say to rely on Yayoi-sensei if anything happens? Why am I shaking so much? because it's something left by dad who really talks? So why did he leave such a wordy letter behind after he'd left? It feels like something's grabbing onto my heart, like I'd been hit on the head with a crowbar. Accept everything? In that case, is it telling me to even accept the subtle will in this letter? I hear the sound of the world crumbling away. Even if this buzzing is nothing more than the sound of my inner ear reacting to a blood flow there, it's the same to me. It's the end of this world. Can I do something? Even though I'm nothing more than a high schooler? This morning, I was chased about by this weird man who drove a jet black supercar. Just what is going on around me? Tell me, Dad. Why couldn't you talk to me? Why did you leave me something so important in a letter? Now I can't ask you anything, can I? Now then, were you trying not to see him, or trying not to talk to him? Which was it? <laughs> well, that's weird. <laughs> Time vacantly begins to pass by. I wish it could just continue to pass like this. 
I have school tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, I'll see everyone. By engulfing myself in my ordinary school life, I don't need to think. That's right. When tomorrow comes, everything will surely turn out fine. When tomorrow comes. So I've come here once again. Even though I know no one is here. Even though I know there's no way she will be here. What am I looking for here? What do I want? Am I trying to create something out of the scattered fragments of my memories? What I truly desire is... むつきが生きてるかどうか僕はそれが知りたい。知ってどうするつもりね。もし私が死んじゃってたら探しに来てくれないの行くに決まってるだろ。だったら私が生きてるか死んでるかそんなことに肯定するなんて意味なくない。ムツキ。お兄ちゃんはただ今のままのモラトリアムに端的していたいだけでしょ。お前言うに事書いてなんてこと。い